All right. So what is going on, guys? Um, I'm I'm back for another video. I know it took a while, but today I have a very very interesting video for you guys today. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to basically change your default keyboard. Um, on Amazon Fire TV, for example, let me let me show you here. Okay, you see this keyboard, like the default one. It it kind of sucks. Like the letters are in alphabetical order. And it's not in the usual uh, QWERTY or Q-W-E-R-T-Y format. It's like, it's it's stupid. So I'm going to be showing you how to install basically a whole, a whole custom one. Keep in mind, this is a long process and it does require you to enable developer tools, uh, which I, I will show you how to do that. What you want to do here, so I'm on the latest update and I have an Amazon Fire uh, TV 4K Max, the newest one, the latest revision, and this still works. Um, and it's currently April 13th, 2024. So I'm on the latest update and it's currently working. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to go basically right here, like to your profile. Um, you just want to go down. You want to go to my fire TV. You want to go to about and basically the first one here, um, how it says fire TV stick 4k max, click it like eight or nine times, like literally rapid fast. You see how at the bottom, at the bottom says no need you are already you are already a developer it's not gonna say that for you for you it might say like press it seven times six times five times three times whatever you keep clicking it and then and then after a while it will literally say like you have um enabled developer mode so what you can do now is just press the back button and now you see there's going to be a new option called developer options so you click it there is a thing here called adb debugging um, you just want to turn that on. Now you can just go back and you can just go to your uh, home button. And by the way, for this next step, or, or for this whole step, I should say, your Fire TV has to be connected to the internet. That's the only way this will work. And then after that, uh, go back to your settings over here, go to network, and whatever network you're connected to, just press um, the play slash pause button. It's like under the home button if you have the latest remote. It's literally just play or pause, just click that. And now click advanced, like at the bottom, click advanced. And then this is what you want right here. Under the IPv4 address. Um, so keep your Fire TV on the screen. Now we're just gonna head back to the PC. What you wanna do now is um, I'm gonna put a zip file um, like in the description. Uh, just be sure to download it and it will have like all of these files. I know it's kind of a lot, but you'll you'll get used to it. Don't worry. So after you download the file, extract it somewhere because it is going to be a zip file. Extract it somewhere and here's what you want to do. There's a folder in here called Platform Tools. Just open it. If you right click the empty space, see not, not a file. Do not right click a file. Right click the empty space over here and click Open in Terminal. What you want to do now is just type in ADB tab. So again, I just want to say A, D, B, and then click the tab button on your keyboard. And then click space, and then uh, type in connect. And uh, what you want to do now is that screen they were on, the IPv4 address, now you just want to put that in. So you put 10.0.0.183, and you will just click enter. And right here, see this one I want to show you, it says fail to authenticate. If you go back to the Amazon Fire TV screen, you will see this. Just hit always allow from this computer and then now click allow. Okay, so now go back to the computer and click the up arrow on your keyboard and just click enter. Then you see, it will just say already connected to the device. So now it's connected to the device. This is what we want. Okay, and now that it's connected, just go back to the folder over here, like to the main directory of the folder. And then we want this one over here, the Fire TV Jack 4.09.apk. What you want to do is you want to type in again, ADB, tab, space, install, and then go back over here. And what you want to do is hold shift on your keyboard and then right click the Fire TV Jack and then you will get a new option called copy as path. So click that, then go back to terminal and after you type in the ADB uh, install, you just press control V on your keyboard, just click enter and it will say performing streamed install and then it will say success over here. That's good, this is what you want. So now when you go back to the Fire TV, um, you can just click go back here, you can click the home button, you just wanna get to the home button. And now when you go to your downloaded apps, there should be a, a new app over here called Fire TV Jack. Now you want to open it. And this is what you, this is what you want. This is good. Now it will say accessibility service disabled. 
um, just go ahead and click close and then leave the screen on, go back to your computer. Now you want to open up the commands.txt file. So once you open the commands.txt file, okay, so now you just go through the commands basically one by one. Um, so now you just copy the first one, right? Just control C, go back into terminal, control V, then click enter. So now it will take you to the ADB shell mode. So it will be like a carrot or maybe a different name. If this name is different, that's fine. Don't panic. I think a lot of, um, depending on the model of your Fire TV, it will say different things, but uh, you will see like a dollar sign and, and you can type stuff. This is what you want. So now, now that you're in the ADB shell, you just want to go through the commands one by one. Right? Okay, and after you click enter, it, it will not show anything, by the way. That, that, that's fine. It will just be empty. That's fine. Now you just move on to the next command. Okay, now that that's done, uh, go back to your Amazon Fire TV. And now you can just click the OK button. Uh, you can go home. And here's what we need to do. We need to restart the Amazon Fire TV. So go to your settings. Go down here to My Fire TV. And then go all the way down to Restart. Just click that and click Restart. So now that the Amazon Fire TV restarted, um, what you want to do is go back to your apps again. And you want to open up the Fire TV jack again. And now when you open it, see how it flashed the screen for a second and then it went away? That means you've successfully enabled the accessibility settings it's looking for. So that's good. Now that you did that, just go back home, click the home button, and now go back to your computer. And you just want to start the next set of commands. Um, now this is optional. You don't have to do this, but you just want to type in ADB tab and then connect. And then you want to type in the ad IP address one more time. Okay, now in this case, it says already connected to. Now, this is just in case, sometimes when the Fire TV restarts, it does disconnect. And if it does, you could just type in this command again to connect to it again. Like I said, it's optional. Most of the time after the Fire TV restarts, it connects back to the same computer uh, again. But this is just for like troubleshooting in case you're having issues. But now that it's connected, just type in again, ADB tab, and then install, and then go back to the root of the folder over here. And then you want to do the same thing for the lean key keyboard. This is how you actually change your keyboard. So just hold down shift on your keyboard, right click this uh, lean key keyboard APK file. And then now just click copy as path and then go back to terminal. And then after you typed in the uh, ADB exe install command, paste in the path, click enter. And now it's going to do the same thing, performing streamed install success. So now that I actually installed it, um, you don't need to open it or anything. Do not open the app on your Fire TV yet. Here's what you want to do. Um, you just want to start with the next set of commands. You just want to go through them one by one. Cool. And you just want to do that. Now, as you can see, it says already enabled for user uh, uh, hashtag zero. That's fine. Um, now go to the next one. And now you're literally done. So what you want to do is go back to your Amazon Fire TV. And now look, if I go anywhere that asks for a keyboard, See, the keyboard changed. And just to show you guys, if you go to the settings and if you restart the Fire TV one more time, the keyboard should still run in the background again. You don't need to go to the computer and type in the commands. It's just like a one and done kind of thing. So now you permanently have a new keyboard. Okay, so it is booting up now. So I just want to prove it to you guys. Now, sometimes when you do restart the Fire TV, this might pop up. That's fine. It's kind of annoying, but this is the only downside to it. Um, so you just click the home button. And now if you go to anywhere that like asks for a keyboard, see, you still have the new keyboard again. So now as you can see, it's in the proper keyboard format and you even get a number row up here too. And it doesn't really take up half the screen. Uh, at least it's on the bottom so you can kind of see like what you're looking at. But yeah, that's basically it. Now you've successfully changed your keyboard. Um, so you don't have to deal with the annoying stupid default keyboard anymore. Um, but other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, that's really the end of the video. Uh, just be sure to leave a comment below and subscribe. Peace.